ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Russian Curse. And today we are having a look at Zeka here on the Korean server. Uh, this is a while back from when he still was on the Korean server. And worlds had not yet begun. And he did not yet know that he would be indeed, spoiler warning, a finalist for worlds. Ladies and gentlemen, Zeke is probably the most hyped mid laner. Um, and toge together with Zeus, probably one of the people that are in for contention of MVP. And so we will see exactly who of those is going to claim that title. But in my mind, Zekka's performance here on the Akali, absolutely scrumptious. And so I picked out an Akali game for you. We're probably also going to review a Control Mage game. Going to have a look at Zekka's Control Mage performance as well. Arguably, definitely a little bit of a weaker performance. So, yeah, we, we, we saw him. We saw him on Azir. And the performance definitely, definitely showed that he was lacking a bit of awareness of like what is what his job is in a team fight. But then again, like, yeah, I mean, he, he definitely does lack it, but in the last Chovy game, we also had a little bit of, a uh, little bit of that by Chovy as well, lacking awareness of what his job is in the team fight. as we have a little bit of a skirmish in the bottom lane here, yeah. Alright, so the Akali Silas lane oftentimes is Akali favored in the early game. And Silas, usually with the first recall timing, starts to pull ahead. And so this Silas definitely should not have done what he did. The problem with Silas early on is you set yourself up for an E if you jump in. So we see him not push the wave here, by the way. And he does this with intention, right? The problem is he has to counter push now because he has to keep the wave in a position that is favorable for him, okay? And he did not manage to do that and now the wave is pushing in and Silas gets a recall timing. Which does suck. So, I would say this could have been played a little bit better. Had he fought against, um, against the push a little bit more. And killed more of the range minions because generally the range minions are what makes these waves unholdable so in a perfect world you want just melee minions in the enemy wave and then you can kind of yeah you can kind of just chill and keep the wave in the middle the entire time obviously Pulling that wave into you, it does create a lot of pressure for Silas, who had just used his flash, right? And so Zeka would get a pr much bigger minion advantage than he did right now. He still has a good, a good advantage, obviously, because of the play that went wrong. And that probably delays the point where Silas starts to pull ahead, which is once he... Well, once he's recalled and gotten like a little bit of AP to bolster his numbers and also once he starts to put some points into his W. So. Very interesting actually. Zeke respecting the Silas here. 
obviously knows that Silas is going to be able to retaliate. But very interesting as well. Silas is running first strike, not Conqueror. That puts him up for... That actually makes him so much weaker for later on. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know about the I don't know about the first strike, I will be honest with you. That is questionable. Alright. Take down on Jin. Oh, Yeah. That is not that is not what you want. This is actually going to be an interesting game. Okay, so he picks up the sorcerer boots here. Now we have finally something to to talk about. So he picks up the sorcerer boots. Sorcerer boots are great on Akali. By the way, the Rengar 6 and 1 with that gore drinker. <laughs> that is pretty scary. But a 6 and 1 Rengar on his own is not going to be able to carry this at all. But that means that we are going to constantly watch the map and play around our jungle invading. Alright. Gotta be careful with the level 6 spike here, right? Silas has it. Silas grabbing the ultimate there was not good, by the way. Alright, we've lost 3 XP so far. To, to share three minions to share XP. Okay. He also didn't get the cannon and he got traded on. Okay, so this this lane is becoming rougher and rougher now. Yeah, he's gonna be waiting in the fog of war. This as a mid laner, this is a pretty good tactic. If you uh, have a bad recall. Or you get chunked out. You can pretend to recall. And the enemy will most likely blow blow all their spells on the wave. To shove it in. And then you either gain a mana advantage. Or at least a cooldown advantage. How to go to ultimate by Silas. Oh, actually pretty good trade by Silas though. Hmm. Yeah, good job, Silas. Holy moly, dude. Wow. That trade? That was a pretty nutty trade, dude. I respect this, Silas. That was a pretty good one. Honestly. He tagged her with the Akali R and he still ended up very slightly out of tower range to be able to trade Akali. That That is ridiculously hard to hit that. I don't know if you guys have like played a lot of Akali slash Silas with Akali ult, but Akali ult, it's not that easy to uh, judge perfectly the range of it. That's good, okay. So, we're scrying out the bottom side and we are looking for a dive. Now, go! Alright. Holds the spells. Nothing happens. I actually, he actually didn't even have ultimate. I don't know about this roam then. If you don't have ultimate. Why the hell are you roaming? I mean, I guess he did. He did get Nila's exhaust 
uh, ghost and cleanse, right? So that happened, but now he is even in lane. Rengar still eight and one, dude. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, a Silas. Alright, ultimate onto the Silas. Conqueror is stacking, but yeah. He's gonna have to go home. Oh, Rennington slice and dice over the wall. W stun was not enraged, as the Silas will be taken down, and so will be the Viego. All right, that was a solid play, but it was like a solid. It was a solid awareness play, I guess, but it was not. Um, it was not a crazy. Um, it was not a crazy mechanical execution. Just red team misjudging and him. Uh, him fighting there. I, I don't even know if he considered that Renick would do this. I, I I honestly I honestly don't don't even know about that. All right, but obviously life is much easier if you is just a sign. Um, godly knowledge to pro players. As actually this Silas is destroying him. What the hell? Yeah, beautiful job. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I guess... Uh, I guess the first strike seems to work out for now. Very, very interesting, huh? Jumps on top of the Akali. I want to point out... Leeching Lair has a little bit of a interesting money value thing, right? Where the, the Omni Vamp that you get early on is not going to be worth a lot. And so actually getting the Blasting Wand is more money efficient. And getting the Blasting Wand plus the components of uh, Leeching Lair and then just building the Riftmaker actually creates a favorable situation. Alright, well that control ward did not last long. Yeah, that was a good idea, Ash, but it will not work as yeah, we are skirmishing. No Ash ultimate available anymore. Alright, control board finally taken down. Level 8 to level 10. That is a scary, scary level gap. That is actually a very scary level gap. Silas is so strong right now. It's actually ridiculous. Akali is too, though. But Silas... Silas definitely, definitely a bit scary. This game, he doesn't have a lot of good ults, but he have, has enough good ults. He, he has enough good ults to not be ult starved, right? But it's also not like he can click on any member and obtain a good ultimate, like a good, good ultimate. Alright, Silas so roaming down. Akali can't really match because it's like two level gap, right? But they are going to match and this is a bit scary. Silas so will be taking down MF already. Yeah, that's that's already not good. As now, yeah. Zeka did kind of try to move in and protect but not much he could do all right let's see this yeah that's uh you just you just can't trade like you just can't take your e back at this point anymore 
It would be even worse if he had Conqueror. In this situation, he can just do whatever he wants, by the way. That is just Silas can do whatever he wants, and that's just your life. Alright, I'm expecting, yeah, Zeka moving down into the bottom lane here. Gonna pick up some farm down there and do some side laning as, oh. Silas jumping on to the MF will go, will live, will going to be living, yeah. MF will live as Ash goes down. All right, that's not, that's not an optimal trade by Silas. Not an optimal trade, giving that over to MF. And the thing with Silas is, if he gets a Kali ultimate, that gives him backline access onto the MF, which is pretty, pretty sick, right? It's pretty good. Very important as well with this team. Because um, that team, otherwise, not really going to have a lot of access to the MF. And then they have to deal with the Rengar, obviously, right? Who's going to be actually quite the tanky boy. And they'll also have to deal, obviously, with the Ash zoning and stunning and slowing and messing about with you. So, while this could be a better pairing, right, we could see... Ooh. All right, all right. Decent execution, but yeah. The Ash ultimate will just stun the Silas. Honestly, what a masterclass here by the Silas. It's, yeah, Silas is doing a great job. Not necessarily farm wise. Cra it's crazy, it's crazy to think though. That, ooh, okay, good flash by MF. She is going to get out for now, but as Nautilus grabs onto her, yeah, she is going down. And what a fiesta. All right, I'm really looking forward to seeing how exactly Zeka is going to come back from this. One thing is that Riftmaker does give you quite a bit of fighting power the longer the team fights go and the later the game goes so while he might not look very strong right now that is in part also by because of his build as his build i mean once you get rift maker it becomes a little stronger and then the further you go on it the better it gets but yeah the problem, the problem with the Akali Silas matchup is that Everfrost is very good against Akali, as she is kind of predictable in, you know, in a certain way, in the way she trades. And then the other thing is obviously that he just benefits massively from getting her ultimate. As Ashold is not going to hit here, and we are looking for the Nila who has Ghost ultimate onto the Nila. Nila will be taken down. E onto the Sejani will miss, and Sejani will be able to get out of that scot free as we are moving into the dragon. Looking to bully out the Viego. Renning look, looking for a kill. Diving the Viego, but Viego will get out. Oh, Ash Ultimate picks up the Viego. Beautiful. As Rennick knows, now he can just do this dragon smiteless. And Zeka moves up into the mid lane, picks up farm. But I would want him to see, I, I would want to see him in the top lane pretty soon here. Okay, I want to know what exactly he ends up building now. Because this is always, yeah, okay, he goes for his Zonya probably. So... This is always the spot where I'm like, okay, yeah, what do I build now? Like, 
what 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 kind of what kind of item do i want to build do i just go for a normal akali build because i i rarely play rift maker i play rift maker versus teams that are like tanks stacked on top of tanks stacked on top of tanks where i know there's no one to assassinate right and the Nila, i mean she is an ad carry but she also kind of isn't right All right, jumps onto the Nila. The E will connect as he takes her down. Like she Shirenikin does. Silas definitely doing a good job with the Akali ultimate as well as Viego trying to carry this on the MF, but he will be taken down. As, yeah, that was a beautiful team fight at first Eka here. Very, very quick execution as well, right? If you look at the, if you look at the jump onto the Nila, not much Nila could do there just just when it comes to the hands right just the quickness of the execution jumps onto her picks her up while she is still in her e as Renekton dives after her and both of them pick her up and then Zeke continues to just fight normal you know that's the thing right you use your ultimate at that point you kind of want to stay in your team and just kind of queue Q auto attack, Q auto attack, Q auto attack, Q auto attack. Maybe connect a good E, like he did there onto the Viego, right? He connected the E onto Viego after he would pick up the the soul of who was it? It wasn't a Mef. It was uh, I I don't know. Was it? It wasn't Rengar. It wasn't maybe Ash. I don't know. He connected it. He connected it, so he predicted where Viego would end up, and then he put the E there. Very interesting, Zeke definitely not going and playing off the side lane here. Very, very weird. I mean, I understand, like, it feels bad to play side lane as Akali, but... Zeke? Question mark? Zeke is just forcing a fight. E doesn't connect, because it will be dodged. Ultimate, second ultimate, is used, and now we are just a neutral animal i guess yeah bit of a bit of an odd fight there i will be honest with you now obviously these pro players in ooh. are we going for this one no we are not going for this one yeah Renekton picks this guy up but are we able to pick up more okay flash slow another flash by Renekton. He will pick up the Nila as we are going to pick up the Ooh. going to pick up the Viego as well but no fate of fight available here onto the Silas and that is a well interesting force very um, nonchalant just running in there and trying to Clap. Clap the enemy team. Alright. Oh, Zeka. I'm slightly confused. Alright. Gets the <laughs> Gets the Sejani ultimate. I, I I don't I don't even know what exactly is happening there. But yeah. Honestly, Zeka not looking like he you you can definitely see the good execution on akali but not looking super clean this solo queue game obviously it is a solo queue game right so you don't know what exactly uh what exactly is going on but i yeah i mean you know going mid lane and uh, i don't know I don't know, he, he's like, he's like constantly sharing XP with his AD carry. Nine. Did the Ash Arrow do anything? Not really. The MF ult also not going to do a whole lot as Nila says hold my whip and jumps right into the MF ultimate. Now obviously it does quite a bit more and yeah, Silas cannot trade the Sakali nearly as well anymore as 
this Akali not only has the Magi is picked up, the Rift Maker is obviously really, really good against this team. All right, we got to be very careful here. Yeah, flashes out, but he will be taken down by Silas once again, by the way. As Silas still has a stopwatch available. Could look for something onto the MF here, but obviously doesn't have his ultimate anymore. No flash available either, and the 20 Magi stacks now become 10. Still kind of worth it, still not bad at all, but... That's a big, that's a big loss in power just because we, we wanted to fight our counter matchup. I don't have anything against devs like this though in solo queue. Because obviously that is just limit testing, seeing if you can do more. Now that you are strong and I understand it. Benchy's Veil by the way picked up by the Silas. Obviously Riftmaker does give you quite a bit of penetration but... I wouldn't be surprised to see a Void Staff coming out of the Akali here pretty soon. Picks up the Blasting Wand, which arguably is, uh, you know, one of the strongest components. So definitely not a bad pickup. MF Ghost. Alright, we're going to jump onto Nautilus. So far... Not really anything uh, worthwhile. Doesn't even pick up the kill onto Nautilus. God damn, dude. God damn, dude. Unlucky. Raining TP into the bot lane. Finally, we will find the Sakali in the side lane where she be freaking longs. Obviously, side lane, not the best for Akali, right? She isn't, she isn't one of those menaces like Kassadin or, you know, champions like that. Um, Irelia. That are menaces in the in the side lane. Kiana, Talon, right? She is more... She's more of a push the lane in and then just try to roam type champions. However, with Riftmaker, she can do a little bit of dirty farming. I assume that he did check the chickens there as that is the camp that you can farm the easiest. Nothing available. Time to go back. And I remember that Zeke this world, Zeke did what we all wanted Chovy to do in the game. He, he absolutely did a great job. But I wouldn't say he's as proficient as someone like the 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 Chovy on you know champions like Azir and stuff like that. Alright, bit bit of a lull state that we have here. As it appears, no dragon available right now, right? Not really much we can do. But I wouldn't be sus it wouldn't be surprised if we weren't like setting up for another fight oh ultimate into four people okay the mf ultimate kind of going to keep his back clean but yeah he does not connect and nila has to leave the fight nila only couple of HP remaining. Reddington will go down, but yeah, it will only be temporary as he seems to have a Guardian Angel. And we will take down not only the Viego, but also the Sejuani. And it appears, yeah, the Sidus as well. And this is just, uh, I don't know, it's so interesting to watch this as I wouldn't say Zek is doing anything crazy, but he is just performing very solid in these team fights, and he is having a lot of impact, honestly. He almost assassinated Nila. I think if this wasn't Riftmaker, he would have actually been able to kill her. His proto belt would have allowed him to connect with another com combo. But yeah. 
goodness me 22 stacks now he is absolutely huge actually interesting yeah he is going for he is going for the proper rift maker type build with the demonic embrace here demonic embrace is pretty amazing on something like the akali the thing is so great <laughs> just toying around with the enemy team a little bit the reason it is so great is obviously because you do you do benefit heavily from the burn against champions like the Sejuani and the Silas. But also because the resistances it gives you are very welcome. So yeah, it's a it's a good build, and this is exactly what what I meant with the you know, yeah, that's that's always what I'm thinking is like do you go void stuff with Riftmaker? I know Riftmaker turns a lot of your damage into true damage. But is that actually enough to forego the, vo the, the void stuff? I don't know. And then... I mean, it appears that Zekka thinks so. And... Uh, oh. Yeah, Renning taking off a lot of space here. What a huge crocodile we have. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, Crocodile just takes down four people, slice and dice as Akali is ready to execute the last two. Definitely a very, very tanky Akali build. And yeah, he, like, this is, this is a classic. He didn't do well in lane. He didn't do well in mid, in, in the early mid game. And then, solo plays. And he just comes comes back, right? And I would say, I would say, I mean, he also is kind of feeding off the success of his team, right? With Rennington and the Rengar just performing very well. But definitely a very, very good execution. And we'll see if we can find some better replays in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Ты моя тяжелая, такая толстая, огромная я Всегда голодная, хорошая ты моя я, бэби ты моя я Ты моя тяжелая, такая толстая, огромная я